Hi there and welcome everybody to a little bit of video update here from what's going on at Viking Monster Truck. So I figured after seeing uh, the V2 vids, awesome videos out there and also uh, Swamp Things videos of uh, what he's doing at his shop, that I'll give this a go too. And let me know after this video if you like it and if you want me to continue with it. I will not have access to fancy video editing stuff, so I'm just going to shoot these videos with my phone. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it goes from there. So right now I have... Thor uh, pulled in here uh, behind me, getting ready to be cleaned up and serviced uh, for the next event that we're doing this weekend coming up. So it's going to go at a display at the Stockholm car meet. I do have out here my other toy as well. This is not really monster truck related, but my little play toy here also needs to be cleaned up. But uh, that will be if I have time after I'm finished with the, with the monster truck in here because uh, who knows what I'm going to be finding on this thing because we did run it hard last time when we did that uh, European record jump uh, in Örebro so that was the last time we drove this thing and uh, well, as you see it's, uh, it's rather dirty so it needs a good good uh, wash I have uh, checked all the valves in it so I removed these covered and, uh, and checked the valve clearance they were all good uh, nothing bad in the oil filter so I've changed the oil in it and just taking some of the panels off it to, to make sure you can get to, to all, the, all the pieces. And one thing I do not think is that people realize how much cleaning it is if you own a monster truck or if you work on a monster truck. Because I don't know if uh, you've seen the photos of when we had this at the car show, everything was shiny. And like as soon as we just hit the throttle once at a field, it will get dirt everywhere. And it's, it, I mean everywhere. And it's just so many places on a monster truck where dirt can hide. So, yeah, it's, it's one of the things that takes the most time, I would say, to clean it up. Um, I also have some, some uh, minor uh, body uh, issues to attend to. This body is actually over 10 years old, so this has seen some action for sure. So if you look, like, if you look at the photos, they look very good actually but if you look at it up close it's got some battle scars for sure <laughs> but it's still looking looking pretty good i think i like the look of it i mean it's not really a, a display truck this it's uh uh it's a, it's a real race truck so it should have its little scars so besides uh, doing all the cleaning i need to go through all the axles to make sure that all the bolts are good all the mounts are where they're supposed to be there's no no cracks, no play in any of the four link and all of that. So that's what's going on with Thor. So hopefully I'm going to be well, also I have another thing to do. You know, we built these new new headers on it and they look so good after I finished them and fired up that I didn't want to paint them. And I knew that I would eventually I need to paint them. But um, after we did our Monster Jam show in Coventry, it was a little bit muddy, so then when that's when they got like this, so now they look like crap. So I'm gonna have to take them off now and get some fresh paint on there. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna let you know what's going on with Mean Viking as well. So I'm walking over here to the Mean Viking truck, and um, we're actually gonna take that out too uh, in a couple of weeks. So now we have Stockholm Car Show coming up with uh, Thor this weekend and uh, that's just just gonna be display we're gonna fire it up twice I think during the day so at least, at least you can hear the motor unfortunately unfortunately we don't get to drive it or I don't get to drive it but uh, I'm gonna drive it the next weekend after that in Eldalen at the motor festival up there and I'm gonna drive it on Saturday at the uh, uh, right next to the airfield and that's gonna be cool uh, it was a great time there last year um, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to do more practice on my two-wheel skill um, I'm gonna build a jump there and see if I can't make that nose wheelie that everybody else is doing that I so much want to do but I haven't really been able to uh, to uh, to have a, have a go at it this uh, this season yet and uh, it's just been one of those things this year that I I have some bad luck with missing two wheel skill because I had some issues with the truck or or it has been way too muddy for me to to try to pull it off so so uh with no grip but uh, I did get to practice a little bit at the in Örebro a couple of weekends ago but I did have the wrong gear ratio in it then for that really to work out and I didn't want to sleep it in reverse because um I had to gear it up so tall uh for the long jump that um 
and I didn't have time to put the, to change the gear ratio back to whatever gear ratio that we usually run for a, for a freestyle or monster jam event or any any car crush really. Um, so I didn't want to put it in reverse, risking the transmission. But uh, it felt good, so hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I uh, I will be able to walk it a little bit uh, at least here in uh, in Eldorado in a couple of weekends. I'm so excited for to to, uh, to be able to do it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So here's me Viking, and I do get a lot of questions from you guys, like where where's me Viking? Why don't you run with it? As you can see, it's right here. It's in one piece, and uh, those of you that saw, we all we did run it in Örebro uh, a couple of weekends ago, and the truck just need a little bit of a cleanup. Then it's gonna be good to go for the next event. And um, the reason why we do not uh, drive with this tr truck that much is basically the body. The body is the reason. This body is a one-off uh, paint job. Uh, we had a sponsor deal way back and um, it's roughly a paint job for uh, 10,000 euros or $10,000 around there somewhere. So it's no stickers at all on it. So it's, uh, it's all done with paintbrush and 10 layers of clear coat and all that. And if we do flip this thing over, um, it's going to be, it's going to be a sad day. Basically, it's going to be a really sad day. So we're Larson, the owner of this truck, he kind of wants to save this um uh, as much as possible to make sure that we we don't trash it so basically the idea is that this is the the show truck because it's sweet i'm going to try to show you the the front lights I, i'm just reaching up right here and that's everything there is done with the paintbrush and um uh, yeah that's why we 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 don't run it as much so we have the the thor truck to grind and this one to shine is the plan and also this one do have a passenger seat you're sitting to the left and driving it so there's room for a passenger seat so if you or see watching this video when i have a go in a monster truck then just hook us up call, call us up i mean and uh send an email or write to us on facebook uh, or call, or call at Larson's, uh, Larson's Machiner directly, and um, you have the opportunity to take a ride in the real monster truck. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you like it, and um, let me also know what you would like to see next video. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye.